Okay, guys, now let's talk about a new problem. All right, so I just clicked this part that says check for even number divisibility. Again, if you're on YouTube, you're gonna have the problem notes below and the solution notes below as well. So no need to worry, but this is uh, on, on cleverprogrammer.com. So let's keep going. <clears throat> you can write a function, uh, or sorry, the problem says write a function is even that takes in a number and returns true if it's even, otherwise it returns false. Okay, so before you watch the solution, take a stab at it and try to do this problem, okay? And after you're done trying and you're pulling out your hair, you're like, oh, I can't do it, come to watch the solution, okay? <clears throat> I've given you some hints here as well. So think about what does it mean for a number to be divisible by another number, right? So what does it mean? Let's, um, let's test it out a little bit. So if I have 10 and I wanna check if it's divisible by two, well, what does it mean to be divisible? It means remainder is what, right? If I do 10 divided by two, what's my remainder there, right? So my remainder here will be none because two goes perfectly into 10. And there's a way to check for remainders, okay? So for example, let's, let's check if um, three goes into 12, right? So if my remainder is zero, then that means 12 is divisible by three, right? I can also try it like this, 12 divisible by three and see if this gives me true or false. If it gives me true, well then, 12 is divisible by three. If it gives me false, then 12 isn't divisible by three, okay? <clears throat> so that's your hint. I've given you your example here as well in written format, and then I have a bonus challenge for you which says, if I give you a number and you check that it's, you know, if it's even, uh, and your function checks it's even, um, so that for that function, the challenge that I gave you is see if you can write it in one line of code. Okay, but don't try that first. Try to do it with some if else statements. So it's gonna get you to do some if else statements. Okay, now let's go over the solution. So the first thing I wanna do is write, uh, what's my function name? Is even, okay, it says right there, is even. Um, another thing that you can do to trick the system is <clears throat> if you look at my test notes below, well, it kinda tells you what the function is called and how it's expecting to use the function. It's This is how the function is gonna be used, right? You're gonna say is even and pass in a number. And either it'll give you a true or it'll give you a false. So I have test cases here written for you. If your function runs correctly, all these test cases are gonna give you a big thumbs up and the screen is gonna print out your code is correct, right? So let's say that I give this, you know, some number. And basically, what do I do? If number is divisible by two, right? That's how you check if it's divisible by two. If you just do this, that will it will that'll give you the remainder. So this will evaluate to zero, okay? But you want something to evaluate to either true or false, okay? <clears throat> so number mod two should give you zero. This means that number should be divisible by two. That's what it means to be even, right? Two should be able to go inside of that number. Return true, else return false, right? If two does not go inside of that number perfectly, then I should get back false. So like if I tested, I don't know, 13 divisible by two, check if it's divisible, it says false. Well, I can even check out what's left over two goes all the way into 12 and then one spills over and you get a remainder of one. Hence, 13 is an odd number and not an even number. <clears throat> Just in case you don't know what odd and even numbers are, zero, two, four, six, eight, ten 10 are all evens and then one, three, five, seven, up to infinity are all uh, odds. You can have negatives and positive odds or negative and positive evens. All right, um, I also have the notes on my website for you guys to help you. So remember how to, it tells you how to write a function. It tells you where to put the colons. 
it tells you to return things and it gives you an example of the add to function as well. <clears throat> so let's test it out. I'm gonna comment out line 43 and I'm going to run this and if it prints out your code is correct, then our code is correct, otherwise it's wrong. Okay, good. It says your code is correct. Now I'm gonna go over the bonus challenge, okay? So <clears throat> define bonus challenge kind of, or actually I can just do it right here because you guys can pause the video and stuff, right? So you guys can go back in time as well. Return, and what do I wanna do? Number divisible by two is equal to zero. And that's it. You don't have to do if, you don't have to do else. It does it all in one go. Well, what happens here? If the number is divisible by zero, if the number is divisible by two, it'll give you a true. If it's divisible, if it's not divisible by two, it gives you a false. So you don't need to check if this, then true, otherwise false. It kind of does that for you. So that's your one liner, okay? Hopefully this video was helpful for you and you learned something. In the next video, we're gonna find out how to find the length of a string. So that's a problem that is gonna be really cool and you will be able to try it out. Check out the show notes below so you can practice this and also try to solve this problem the check for even numbers. Take care.